Xbox games. First, I remake the game go to Z direction. Just in case, if I want to use checkpoint nodes in future. Watch my checkpoints video for more information. I need to rotate my model in Blender, so it faces to Z direction. Open Blender. Click on General. Delete Cube. File, Import, and Wavefront OBJ. Find your 3D model location. Double click to import. Now, rotate your camera view so red X dot is on the right side and blue Z dot is up and green is in the middle. Now, rotate model so it faces like it should in game window. When done, click File, Export, Wavefront OBJ. Select Save Location and click Export. Now, drag exported model into Buildbox. In Mesh Manager, I just change character's mesh into new one. And click on lock button on old mesh. So it gets deleted. Old mesh is gone. Good. I speed up now while setting game direction to Z-axis and changing assets color to brighter because latest trends are so. Changing move node. Speed value to Z. This touch node does not work with Z axis. So, I modified its code. Just copy and pasting pre-made modified code. Change cameras follow force X value to 0 and Z value to 1. Speeding up again. Adding delay node and event node into character's node map. Duplicating obstacles asset and making it into coins bomb. When colliding with character, it bursts out coins. Add 
adding some texture. In node map, I add rotation move and setting its value to X axis. If collide node, affected asset is character. And defeat node. I copy animation node from deep fly asset. Adding global counter node. If I touch coins bomb asset five times, I can pass to next level. Adding send node. When I collide with coins bomb asset five times, it sends true value. Adding coin smart asset from assets library. <laughs> Connecting add point node with start node. So I get all these coins after colliding with coins bomb asset. and adding delay and remove node, so they disappear after 3 seconds. <laughs> Duplicating obstacles asset again. This will be finish asset, which ends level. Deleting mesh, so it is invisible. Adding finish assets near to level end. It must be big enough, character must collide with it. Speeding up. Time to add more stuff into character's node map. Adding if collide node. Affected asset is coins bomb. Duplicating explosion cubes node. and connecting it with if collide node. Need to do some changes in script editor. First I change assets name to coin. Now adding minimum and maximum variable. 
This will spawn coins between these two values. and defining random number variable. Replacing constant number with random variable. This is scale value. Changing 0.1 to 1. And modifying Z speed value. So coins burst out more into Z axis. Dragging receive node. It sends true value after character has touched coins bomb five times. Make sure event name matches with send node. Drag global counter with counter value of one. Without it, level selector node doesn't work. When I think about yesterday. Dragging if collide node, affected asset is finish and connecting it with global counter node. My, oh my. A kiss and so I did. Add level selector node. Connect enabled input with start node. And next input with if collide node. Add delay node. I set its value to 1. Add event observer. Unchecking pause current world boxes. Connect delay node with if collide node and event node with delay node. My, oh my. My, oh my. Now I open enemies node map. Making this asset to explode after colliding with character or coin. Duplicating debris asset for explosion purposes. And changing debris and enemy color to red.
back to enemy's node map. Copy and pasting explosion node from character's node map. And correcting asset's name in script editor. Adjusting collision shapes. Enable coins physics. Adding game over observer. Making game over and level completed UI. Restart and next level buttons function is restart. Make sure to enable characters physics. And changing coins spawn value between 5 and 15. Because too many objects will slow down the game. Also, changing worlds adding threshold to 0. So, it won't load next scene objects. making tubes visible again, and hiding planes.
We don't need shadows in this game. So disable them. It also increases game's performance. And we need to add some nodes, if you don't touch coins bombs 5 times. Then it is game over. Add of collide node, affected asset is finish. Connect with start node. Add delay node. Value is a bit higher than level selectors delay node. You ain't got enough of this fever I know. I know Nothing would remain and you don't wanna go so And connect output with game over event no time to waste. I wanna love you but life doesn't wait You can stay here and waste away You need to taste every mistake Fall out and get up again and again Again and again and again and again I'll be with you always You don't need to be your friend works perfectly now. Only need to change game over UI's text. BB doc file is in description. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.